Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Caitlin and today we are filming an exciting video. Um, so this is going to be our 2023 reflect but our 2024 reset. So yeah, we're filming a reflect and reset for the year and I'm really excited. I'm excited to talk about the goals that I had from last year and kind of reflect on them and see what I was able to accomplish. Not a lot on the board, I will say, but I feel like overall we've accomplished a lot this year. So anyways, um, and then we'll kind of just go into my 2024 goals and kind of how I'm tracking them and keeping myself accountable. Anyway, okay, let's go into my 2023 goals so i will throw them up on the screen here and we will go through them and see if we can check them off um okay become the healthiest version of myself complete 100 rides on my peloton which i did do which is very exciting lose 40 pounds or become comfortable with my weight. I will check this off because I 100% feel comfortable with my weight. I have a much better relationship with my body and how I treat my body and how, like when I treat my body well, how my body reacts to it. Um, I did not lose 40 pounds this year, but I lost close to 25 pounds. Um, I kind of have lost track in the last like couple months. I haven't really been like paying attention to it, but around 25 pounds, which I'm really, really happy for. Um, and I just feel a lot better. So I'm going to check that off. Journal daily, I did not do. Um, I really want to try and journal again this year. Like I want to try and get into it. And I feel like I liked the idea of like journaling when it was like momentous things that were happening. Like I love when I look back on my journal, like all the pictures and like the spreads of like when we were at Disney um, and like whenever we were like doing really fun things. Um, or even just like the day to day, like even just like simple, like journaling, I really loved, I feel like what kind of what is catching me off guard for not doing was like when I was trying to like track my months and stuff on here, I just felt like I would get too, if I got too behind, like it was just too hard for me to like sit down and like plan out one of these for a month. And then I just would like never fill them out, but then I would like continuously journal. So I definitely fell off the track on journaling basically right before we went away to Disney. Um, so I want to try and get back into that this year. I'm going to keep it all in the same journal though. I've like really only, it looks like a lot, but it really like I've only finished maybe the first like third of the book. Um, so I'm going to keep using that, but definitely didn't journal daily, but I'd like to bring that forward into 2024. Learn more about hormonal health. Can I give this like a half check? Um, I feel like I am a lot more aware of the cycles, but I could not tell you like the various specifics of each one. Um, I've learned more about myself and like how I feel specifically on different cycles, but I like, I'm not, I'm not an expert by any means. So I feel like I want to like half check that off, but also like, I definitely could like learn a little more eat out less and cook at home more. I believe we have done that. I will say in the last month since we've moved into our new place, we've eaten out probably a little more than we would want to um, just because of like the moving process. And then like once you're trying to get settled, it's just like easy to grab stuff to eat. But now we're in like a little bit more of a small town. So we can't really like you can quickly like drive like 10 minutes and there's like a little plaza. Um, no, not even 10 minutes. That's an exaggeration. Probably like five minutes and there's a little plaza and there's like one sit down place. And then there's like like four takeout places. So really it's like if we're picking things to take out, it's going to be the same thing over and over. And I feel like we'll just like, we're not going to like want to do that all the time. Um, cause we're moving from a city where there was tons of things that we could pick from. And that's kind of, I think why we were always eating out before, but honestly with like the 75 hard journey that we did. And then like, I think that was kind of like the pivotal moment of like, we really don't need to eat out all the time. Um, like, I feel like that'll help us also in like this transition into like not eating out as much. So that's good. So I feel like overall become the healthiest version of myself. I really feel like I prioritized my health this year and I'm really happy about that because out of the 
one, two, three, four, five things, I would say I can confidently fully check off three of them and half check off one. Like I feel pretty good about that. So my second kind of grouping of goals was I wanted to read 30 books. I wanted to read five nonfiction books and I wanted to read or donate all the books before on my bookshelf before buying more. Uh, okay. No and no, <laughs> and no, all three, no. Um, let's see how many books I finish. So it technically is not the end of the year and I guess I won't really be able to update because I was like, maybe I can edit in here like what is gonna be done, but I'm pretty sure this video is going up before the end of the year, four days before the new year. So I mean, maybe I can finish a few books and I'm really trying to finish some books right now. Um, but right now on my Goodreads, I have read, I have read 18 books right now. I am currently in the middle of finishing an audiobook that I've been listening to from the library, which I only have like two hours left and I'm going to finish that today. So that will put me at 19. And then I have four other books, I think three or four. I can't remember. Um, that I'm like halfway through that I really want to try and finish before the end of the year. I just don't know if I'll be able to. So potentially I could finish like 23 ish books. Um, but we'll see. So regardless, it was a fail for 30 books, but like, I'm not really, I'm not really like discouraged about that at all. I just know that like, I just didn't read perks of living on a construction site. <laughs> Okay, I had to wait for that machine to leave um, because it was just beeping really loud and you can still hear it, but I hope it's not as prominent. Um, but yeah, so book goal didn't finish, but ultimately like I know that I read not as much as I would have liked to, but the books I did read, like one of the books I read was 700 pages. So I mean, to my credit, last year when I was reading books, all my books were like 300 pages. So... I feel like, you know, that should give me some credit for something too. Um, but yeah, so kind of failed that. And for nonfiction books, I only ended up reading three nonfictions. And then one of the ones I'm trying to finish before the year ends is also a nonfiction. So that would put me at four. But I've just determined nonfiction is not for me. Um, I don't love nonfiction. I don't love reading nonfiction. I like a memoir, um, but like it has to be a very specific one, I think. Um, but yeah so anyway um okay so i think i ended up i can't remember what video it was i think it was like my mid-year reflection but i ended up kind of like nixing my financial goals because i just had goals in there that we had at a certain time and then we kind of pivoted this year um so really i'm not gonna touch on them just because we like totally changed our kind of goals um I wanted to be a better friend. So go out or host one friend a month and then connect with old friends weekly phone or text. Again, I feel like I talked about this in my mid-year reflection where the going out or hosting a friend once a month was hard because I was living with my mom. Like we were both living with my mom. So it's like, you know, when I have people over, I couldn't like, I, I couldn't really do that. Um, so that is something that I am kind of bringing forward to this year because now that we have our own place, I, you know, don't have to, other than Austin, I don't have to like get permission from other people to like have people over or like let other people know. Like I just, I'm going to say to Austin, like, Hey, um, like, I don't know, whoever's going to come over and we're going to hang out and that'll be, you know, that'll be that. But, um, anyways, last year that didn't really happen, but I did feel like I was connecting with more friends more. Um, I was trying to like reach out for a bit in the beginning of the year with old friends. Um, but I think again, I've said this before, like friendship is always a two way street. And it's like, sometimes you just have friends from before that they were supposed to be your friends then. And they're just not supposed to be your friends now. So it's okay. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, you'll see, I think relationships are a lot more prominent in my goals for next year. Uh, or I guess this, coming year next year 2024 um that I want to like touch on but yeah that's that's kind of that um and then work on being better in my marriage two dates per month one in and out of the house um one in one out of the house we didn't end up doing this intentionally but we always are kind of like dating each other like I feel like we kind of fall into this thing where it's like when you're married and you're doing everything together anyways it's like you know going out and like sitting down for dinner you don't think of it as a date 
but it is like you know you're spending time with each other um you know you're doing things with each other so i think unintentionally we were doing that still but we weren't like intentionally being like okay this month we're gonna go to the keg for dinner and that's gonna be our date you know so that was that and then we were doing the indoor dates i think the same like we kind of just like designate we, we just say to each other like let's like let's have a date night tonight or like we didn't we don't ever use that term though we say like let's just like hang out tonight and watch a movie together and order pizza or whatever and it's like for two people like austin and i are both very like independent people but like we like to be independent together so i feel like what we'll do every once in a while is be like okay let's do something together and be together um versus like he does his thing i do my thing but we're together if that makes any sense <laughs> um more daily undivided attention i feel like we did we did and we do this um and be more emotionally available in times of need and i put that down at a time of we were there was going through a loss in the family and it was just something that it's like you know you want to just be there for each other and i feel like we have been i feel like there's been a lot of things that you know as you get older like like things happen in life that you just kind of have to be there for your partner and it's like you know put your feelings aside and like think about your person in those feelings or in those times and i really i feel like we both do that so so those are my 2024 goals i feel like they were kind of broad but also a little bit specific but i feel like a lot of them changed halfway through the year just because like life changed um so while it does feel like we didn't really complete a lot of the goals i will i just wanted to touch on quickly like some of the things we were able to accomplish this year because we we accomplished a lot this year so i feel like i just wanted to like put that on there because i was like look i know that these weren't all my goals but like these are things that like i'm proud of that we did and i can't believe it so one thing is moving out we moved into our own apartment and it's a house but it's an apartment like we rent um um we moved into our own place and like i just feel like that's really good like we financially were able to make it work and we're still you know putting money the places that we need to put money we're putting stuff in savings we're putting stuff towards things that we need to buy things that we want to buy and and like just general like life things that you just have to put money towards um so i feel like i'm really proud of us for that um i'm really excited because we were able to go on a vacation this year and we were able to buy dvc this year which is really cool that we were able to do that and financially be able to like like uh not healthily like manageably be able to do that like it's not like we were put out by buying dvc you know what i mean anyway those are the two things i just wanted to highlight because those are huge milestones that i feel like are just like awesome and i just want to like pat myself and austin on the back for and yeah so okay now we are going to jump into our 2024 goals for this year so i am going to actually screen record okay so here is my new notion um setup that i have for 2024 if you saw my instagram a little while ago every year i try and be a notion girly and i think what it is is that every year i just tried to start it at like in january and it was just like while i was trying to set up this dashboard i was also just like freaking out and being like ah, i need to also just like actually fill in the dashboard as i'm doing it so this year i have been trying to set up my dashboard in december so that it's ready for january so let's go into my 2024 goals so here we have them um so i'm just gonna pull them up one by one but i kind of sectioned it off into six uh sections <laughs> so we have personal we have health and wellness financial home relationships and social so my personal goals for this year i would like to read 30 books um i would like to join a book club and i will say like some of these i know are going to happen this year because i've already kind of like talked about them but i also just wanted to put them on here because like sometimes it's just nice to be able to check off goals that you're like oh that is actually a goal but like i know i'm going to finish it pretty soon so um yeah so i wanted to read 30 books and join a book club i would like to take more pictures and this is like so vague but i just feel like i was never taking pictures in the last like year other than when we're at disney and i just really want to like actively just be taking more pictures in my day-to-day -day life and it also just helps with social content because it's nice to be able to have pictures from your week when you film a weekly vlog um to put in your thumbnail <laughs> 
So I want to take more photos. Uh, I want to complete 20 hours of CE. So CE is continuing education. So with my profession, because it's a licensed profession, um, I don't know if this is for all licensed professions, but I feel like most of them you have to complete CE every year. Typically, like if you get audited on it, um, you have to like provide that you completed education. And since I was a new grad, like two years ago now, crazy. Um, it was something that like I knew I didn't need right away because I was just in school. So now that this is going into my third, this will be at, yeah, like in January, I'll be licensed for two years, but then I'll be like in my third year of work. Um, I want to start just like doing CE. And I think what it is, is that for our licensing body, as of right now, um, you have to complete 25 hours a year. And then sometimes you'll get audited and then they have to show 75 hours over the course of three years. So it's just like good to have 25 hours a year. So anyways, this year, I would like to complete 20 hours of continuing education. Um, and also on here, we have personal goals. We wanted to adopt a kitty, which we actually have already completed. Um, I don't know. I feel like that might be news. I don't know. I might have already posted on my Instagram, but I might have not. But we have adopted a little kitty. Um, we adopted her from the Humane Society last week this weekend <laughs> when I'm filming this. Um, so she's still getting used to the house. She's still getting used to us. She's super, super sweet. We have not 100% set on a name. So that's why I'm not saying the name right now. Maybe I've already announced it by the time you're seeing this video, but I don't know. We haven't decided 100% on the name. We have a name picked out that we've had picked out since we got her, but we're just like, we're just unsure. It's a big thing to name, to give a name. So anyway. Yes, I technically can already click this off. So should I even have this on here? Probably not. But anyway. Um, okay, I want to look good, feel good. That's just like kind of what I've had in my mind. So I want to pri prioritize self care morning and night routines and choosing outfits. So when I was in high school and like even in elementary school and even like in my first like in my first college program, I really prioritized like I would get up in the morning, I would get ready, I would do my hair, I would do my makeup. Um, at the at night, I would like do my nighttime routine, and you know I really prioritized like how I looked. And in the last like probably I don't know four or five years. I really haven't prioritized how I look and I just was like, oh, whatever, I don't really care. Like it is what it is. Um, but I feel like when I try just like a, just like the tiniest bit, I just feel better. Like I just feel more confident. I feel more like myself. Um, I feel like more put together and I really, I lack a lot of self-confidence, I think, um, in my appearance, which is like pretty sad to say. And like, some of it is with body issues, but a lot of it is just like, I, I think I, I don't know. Um, I've worked with this in therapy, <laughs> but I've never said it out loud to a camera, but I just feel like, um, wow, I really, I physically cannot say it. Um, I just don't feel pretty. Um, and I don't feel like, 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 I don't feel like I look good. Um, and that's just like something that I work through. And I feel like if I start to, you know, prioritize how I look and like, just dedicate the time to like, just get ready and like do your hair and like put on a little makeup or even just do your skincare so that you feel a little bit better. Um, and like get dressed nice instead of just like throwing on random clothes, like, I feel like it'll help me because I feel like when I was doing that in the past, it did kind of help like push my self-confidence a little more. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to focus on that going into this year. Moving on to health and wellness. Um, so for health and wellness goal, I want to average 8,000 to 10,000 10, steps a day. So I'm writing in here average because I know that in the winter, I am not going to be able to like manage up to 10,000 steps just because it's like hard and we w live on a construction site and it's like it's uh 
with lack of a better terms, it's a shit show um, with how gross and like muddy and dirty it is here. So like, yeah, I'm not gonna be going for walks outside every day, especially when it's cold. Um, but once, you know, the weather starts warming up, once it becomes a little bit more like tidy on the site here, um, I feel like I'll be able to get outside more. Um, but in a caveat to this, I also wanted to just move my body for 45 minutes per day. So, you know, in the winter months now, we're gonna get back into moving our body. Um, the last like two months, basically, between like packing for the move and then the move, um, I really have fallen off the bandwagon of working out. I really couldn't tell you the last time I worked out. It was probably two months ago. Um, and like, just in general, I feel like I'm feeling it in my body. Like my body feels more sore, which is kind of crazy. It's like, you know, you'd think like when you're working out more often, your body would feel sore. But I think because I was being active, my body was like used to it. And now it's like not. So anyway, I want to get back into moving my body for 45 minutes a day. And I know I can do it because for 75 days straight, I moved my body twice a day for 45 minutes each. So I can do it. <laughs> um, I want to cook one new recipe a week. Um, now that we're, you know, in our own place, we have a full fridge that we can use. We don't have to share a fridge. We don't have to share a pantry. Um, I really want to try and like, you know, try out new recipes, get more cookbooks, get online more, everything like that. I want to try. I want to try and like just get into, you know, cooking more and trying out new recipes because I feel like we fall into this rut of like we eat the same like 10 meals for the whole year and I feel like Austin could live on literally one meal like he could live on the same breakfast same lunch same dinner like every single day but I can't I need I need some diversity in my life so I feel like cooking a new recipe every week will like help spark the diversity of food <laughs> um I want to try and drink either a half between a half and one gallon of water a day. Um, again, during 75 Heart, I was drinking one gallon, one gallon of water a day easily, and I've definitely fallen off of that. So I want to get back up to drinking, you know, half of a gallon to a gallon of water a day. Um, and then this is very broad, but I want to just improve my golf. Um, this year, Austin and I got out to the golf course a lot more than we have in previous years, and I love it so much, but it's a tough sport, and I really want to try and improve on it, so I want us to try and prioritize that this summer. I don't know if we'll be able to, because honestly, golf is expensive, so we definitely have to prioritize it in our finances, um, but if we're able to, and if we're able to like get outside, I really want to try and improve my golf game. So financial goals, I only have two goals right now and that is just I want to save at least $1,000 a month and I want to generate $500 to $1,000 in extra income per month. So with my job, um, well one thing with YouTube, I obviously make a little bit of money from YouTube so you know in a month I generate like a very small percentage of money so that Plus, um, with my career, my job or whatever, my licensing body, um, I'm a registered dental hygienist. If you don't know, I feel like I didn't say that in the first time I talked about what I do, but I'm a registered dental hygienist. So in Ontario, at least, um, in Canada, we are able to, as a licensed professional, like you can work kind of anywhere. So, um, like that, is here um, as a dental hygienist. So, you know, there can be somebody that calls me and say like, hey, we need a hygienist for, you know, a Saturday afternoon, would you be able to come in? Or I can reach out to offices and say like, hey, I'm, you know, a registered dental hygienist. Um, if you need a hygienist, you can give me a call, whatever. Basically, I can work at other offices, even though I have one full-time job where I'm working right now, Monday to Thursday at, I'm working Monday to Thursday at, um, so, you know, I want to pick up the odd shift in the evening or maybe the odd shift on the weekend and just generate an extra $500 to $1,000 in income every month. Um, okay, our home goals. So we obviously live in a rental, so we can't do any like renovations or anything like that, but I would still like to make this place cozy and make it feel like a home to us. Um, you know, we're really lucky and our landlord is like super like he's just like yeah like hang what you need to hang do what you need to do like as long as eventually when you leave this place you're gonna put it back to how it was i don't care so we're really lucky in that sense so you know there's like little things that i want to do like i want to hang pictures in our bedroom and i want to um 
you know, set up this place so that it really feels like our home and it doesn't feel like white sterile walls with just our stuff in it. Um, so for our home goals, I would like to finish our entryway, which includes getting, um, like organizing our closet, getting a rug for the front hall, getting a table and or a bench somewhere where it's like when you come in, there's de designated areas where it's like, okay, I can drop my stuff here. I can sit down here to take my shoes off and I can hang up my coat here. Um, so right now the front entryway is a hot mess. So that is one project I want to complete. Um, another one is that I want to make our guest room cozy. Um, and just like, again, I'm, I've just like listed things because I know like these are things that I want to eventually pick up, but we need some lamps in that uh, guest room because there's currently no lamps. So it's only like the overhead light. And it's always a pain when you're laying in bed and you're just like, oh, I just want to like flick off my lamp rather than like get up and go turn off the big light. Um, I want to get, we have a TV for in there, but we don't have anywhere to put it right now. Just the way the layout of the room is. So I want to order a TV stand for the area. Um, and then we have the guest bathroom, which is very bare bones right now. And really, I just want to like throw up some pictures in there so that it just feels a little bit more cozy. Uh, set up a workout room. So in our basement, we're really lucky that we have a basement that's like huge. Um, so we're going to set up our workout area down there. So I just want to it, like it's basically all like down there we just need to like physically set it up so you know one day we'll probably just go down we'll set up our peloton we'll put our mats down we'll get all our weights out you know organize everything um which will be an easy like little project to do so that's good um i want to organize our storage in the basement so right now we have one little area where we have a bunch of boxes that are just storage bins of like you know things from austin's like childhood things from my childhood things from his you know college career like like hockey career and things from not like you know what I mean like the time that he played hockey he has things from that and like such and such things like you know <laughs> you need to tell I've been filming for too long I can't speak anymore um so anyways we want to just organize that because right now all the bins are just like stacked on top of one each one another so we want to get just like shelving just like you know stackable shelving to put down there so that we can get things off the floor. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the same thing, organized storage in our garage right now, everything is just like thrown on the sides of the garage. So I would just like to get some type of like shelving units to put up and put all of our stuff on a shelf. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what am I trying to say here? Find everything we own a home. Basically what I mean is that like, I don't want things to just like sit places. I want everything to have a designated spot. And if it doesn't have a designated spot, guess what? it's gone. I'm getting rid of things. I have lived too much of a life where like, I feel the need to like hoard things. And like, by no means am I saying that I'm a hoarder. Um, but like, I feel like we live in like the scarcity mindset of like, Oh, well, what if one day I'm going to need that? Or, Oh, what if one day, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's okay. Just get rid of it. You know? So anyway, that's, those are the home projects <laughs> so far that I have written down. Um, okay. So my relationship goals so I have this broken down into three sections and like I said I feel like I'm really focusing on relationships this year um so for relationship goals in our marriage I would like to have two intentional date nights per month so like I was saying we kind of were having dates but they were like unintentional um but this like this this year I really want to prioritize trying to do like intentional dates be like on Monday we're gonna sit down and say like okay this week on Thursday we're gonna go for dinner and a movie instead of just like on Thursday, decide like, hey, you wanna go for dinner and a movie tonight? It'll just feel a little bit more intentional and it'll have like little things to look forward to um, at the beginning of the week or like through the weeks instead of like, you know, we always have, pretty much, I mean, you guys kind of know this, we always have a Disney trip towards the end of the year that we're always looking forward to. So it's like for the first two thirds of the year, we're like looking forward to the Disney trip, looking forward to the Disney trip, looking forward to the Disney trip. And it's like, I would like to have things to look forward to closer so that it feels like you're not just like wishing your year away to get to the end of the year to go on your Disney trip, which I know we're gonna do anyways, but I think having these little things to look forward to in like a week or in a month, um, are like just nice to have. Um, I wanna also in our marriage, I'd like us to spend more shared hobby time together. So, you know, Austin and I both really like to play video games. We both like to watch movies. We both like to um, work out. So I want us to try and like do those things together 
because sometimes what we'll do is like Austin will be gaming like you know on his computer and then I mean I don't really do this often but like sometimes maybe I'll be like sitting in here like in my in our room like reading or like playing a video game here but I'd like us to just like if we're both doing the same thing we can just get together and like do it together my throat's getting really sore from filming and how long is this going this is gonna be a long video wow okay so for my friendship goals um I'm bringing forward that goal from last year I would like to host a friend one time a month so whether that be having somebody stay for the weekend, like Brandon and Heidi, if they ever want to come up and visit, um, or if that's literally just like, you know, we're having a book club and the girls want to come over to do a book club at our place at the end of the month. Like, you know, it's just like, it doesn't have to be like a over, like, you know, it doesn't have to be like an overnight thing. It could just be like a little thing where people are coming over, they're staying for a little bit of time and then leaving um, and such forth. But now that we just have our own space, like I said, it's not like I have to say like, hey mom, like, is it okay if so-and-so comes over? Um, it's more of like a thing where like I'm discussing with Austin, like, hey, I mean, I still have to, like, we still ask because there's respect in the relationship, but it's a little less like, you know, it's like, this is also my place as much as it is his place. So it's like, we, he, we both are gonna be doing that. So anyway, host one friend a month, <laughs> at least. I would like to say yes to at least one outing a month. So whether that be with friends, coworkers, events, etc. I find myself where I really, I want to do things with other people, but then when the time comes, I'm like, oh, I'm too tired. I don't want to go out. But then I find myself that like, you know, people will ask me and they'll invite me and then I just will never go. And it's like, people are going to stop. Like, I know this because it's, ex I've experienced it. People will stop inviting you if you constantly say no. So it's like, I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to go out for three hours, it's like, it, it is what it is. You're going out for three hours once a month. Like what, like, what is that? You're, you know, spending more time with people that you want to get to know better. And like, you're doing something that's different and like, you're going outside of your comfort zone. So I would like to try and do that at least once a month. Um, and then I also want to just make time to talk with far away friends. So my friend Claire, which I know she's watching this, she can attest to this because she is the one I think who receives the brunt, the brunt of this. But like during the week, I am like the worst at replying to texts, replying to Marco Polo's, replying to FaceTime calls, like everything. I am like the worst because I'm just like in a zone of like, wake up, go to work, come home, do dinner, go to sleep, wake up. Like, you know, it's the cycle during the week. And then it's like, you know, Friday hits, Saturday hits. And all of a sudden I'm like, Hey, I'm your friend again. I can reply to all these texts that you've sent me. Um, so I would really like to just like try and have designated times. Like, I don't know if it's going to be like, you know, designated like an hour a day or, you know, half an hour a day. I like designate to reply to texts or whatever. Um, I feel like it'll feel less daunting to reply if I know that I have a set time during every day that I'm going to be replying to things because sometimes what happens is, you know, the people I talk to every day, they get it. Like Claire gets it. I don't ever feel like anxious if I haven't replied to her in a week to reply and be like, hey, sorry, I haven't replied in a week. Like she gets it. She's like, girl, I know. Like that's just how you are. But you know, the odd friend that like is maybe a newer friend or maybe it's a friend that I've had before that like, you know, we're rekindling a friendship or whatever. It's like, if I go a couple days without replying, it feels more daunting every day that goes past where I'm like, oh my gosh, I still haven't replied. And then I'm constantly thinking about it. So if I just designate a time every single day to reply to people or like, you know, every week to reply to people, then hopefully I'll get over that. <laughs> um, and then family goals. I wanna call long distance family weekly. I'm very bad at this. Um, you know, I have family that lives kind of all over the place. Yeah, I wanna just try and call people at least weekly or at least talk to people weekly. Like if I can't actually get on the phone with everybody, um, at least, you know, send a text, you know, send a text to my grandma, send a text to my grandpa, you know, FaceTime my dad, stuff like that. Just because I feel like I get out of the habit of it. Um, um, and then I want to host or attend one to two family dinners a month. So um, now that I don't live with my mom, I feel like I'm like not gonna get to see her as much because although we work together, we really don't like see each other all the time. Like we see each other at lunch, but sometimes during the day we just get busy and we don't get to like see each other at work. Um, so I would like to at least, you know, go over there at least once a month or go to Austin's parents once a month just to kind of like 
you know, sit down, see everybody, prioritize it. Because sometimes it gets to where it's like, you know, we haven't seen Austin's dad in two months or, you know, his mom. Like I haven't seen his mom in two months or something, stuff like that. So I feel like I want to try and prioritize, you know, visiting other members of the family multiple times. <laughs> I hear the cat <laughs> um, multiple times or at least once a month, just to, you know, just to keep things up with family members. Um, in the past, I have said like, I have made social media goals and I have also made social media, like I have also not made social media goals. And I feel like this year I would like to try and prioritize it. So as you can see, there is like pretty extensive goals here written for social media. And I'm just gonna quickly whiz through them. Um, I don't know I think it's fun to try and like challenge myself and work more towards my socials and I feel like when I was living at home you know I could only really film at very very specific times so therefore I could only upload so much in a week and I could only do so much with my time towards my social media so now that we have our own place I already feel this like want to just like share more and post more and film more and like just do more content so I was like you know what I'm just gonna try this year to just like dedicate a little bit more time to social media and see how it goes so for my YouTube goals I would like to post two times a week consecutively so I pretty much do this but I feel like I'm not like I definitely fall off the wagon like often where I'd be like oh I haven't posted in two weeks <laughs> or I only post one video a week or whatever so I want to consistently post two times a week I would like to create series on my channel so like right now you're seeing the series of like the moving out series and um i think like obviously i always do like a disney vlog series but i want to try and do more like niche things like that um just to see if it like helps with like any type of like content creation or anything like that um i also want to try and organize my youtube page so right now it kind of looks like um a shit show <laughs> because I think I've already said shit show once in this video and now it's gonna be twice <clears throat> also my voice is getting really sore from talking so much holy crap basically my youtube pa page is just a mess it's like I have things that I would like to have in certain groups that I don't and I want to make playlists and I want to you know kind of clean up older videos that I don't really need on here anymore like get rid of some of my older ones or just like private them or whatever um so I would just like to organize my youtube page over this year I also want to try and like do a rebrand for all like my marketing like my channel banner actually that's a lie I like my channel banner but I would like to change up what my intro and outro looks like um you know profile photos brand colors etc etc um so I'll slowly do this over time um and it's nothing really like super serious but I'm just like I'm just kind of like over the pink right now I feel like and I just want to move to more like calming like mature kind of colors hello little girl come here would you like to say hello come on up come on come on there she is this is our little girl <laughs> she is a little motor she loves to purr and she loves to be around everybody i think she was just having a nap under the bed and now she's here hi can I show you to everybody? So this is her. No official name yet, but one that we call her. But I'm not saying it yet because I don't want to like this to be very dated and be like, well, wow, we haven't called her that in a long time. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, rebrand marketing. <laughs> and then the goal that I was kind of reluctant to put on here, but I'm like, just put it on, like just put a goal on there, it's fine. So I would like to hit 8,000 subscribers this year. So right now we're at 7,000, just over 7,000. Um, so I would like to try and hit 8,000 subscribers. And then on TikTok, uh, this I feel like is very ambitious for me, but also like TikTok is so small. Like the content is like, so, like you can make such an easy TikTok video where you can just be like POV, you're sitting in bed drinking a hot chocolate on a Friday night. You know, it's just like quick little things like that are super easy to make. So I feel like I have on here post three times a week. I feel like it sounds ambitious, but it also like could not be. So have that. 
Um, I want to respond to more comments and I want to engage in others content more. So I find like I read every single comment, you know, across the board, whether it be on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I read every single comment, but I get really bad about replying to comments on YouTube. I try my best to reply to everybody, but like on TikTok, I feel like I rarely do. And same with Instagram. So I really want to try and respond to more content and also comments and then also engage in more content, which like I, you know, there's people and most of them are friends. I will say that I watch religiously that I never comment on their videos. Um, and I feel like I should, like, I, like I hype my friends up constantly where I'm like, you know, I'm constantly talking about Brandon and Heidi's channel. I'm constantly talking about Carter, constantly talking about Brianna, like all these people that like, you know, I watch all the time, but it's like, I never comment on their stuff. And I'm always like, I know how helpful it is to com like to have comments. So I feel like I should just be commenting on all my friends stuff. So I want to try and prioritize that this year. And then for TikTok, I wanted to hit 4,000 followers on TikTok. I feel like this is pretty ambitious because I think right now I'm at like two. So I feel like that's like double, but I, I don't know. I don't know why I said 4,000. I might take that back, but it's on the internet now. So that's what it is. <laughs> um, okay. And then with Instagram, I want to be more active on my stories. So I post a lot of like pictures on my stories, but I hesitate to like talk on my stories, which is kind of funny because obviously I film YouTube videos and I film weekly vlogs. Um, but I just wanna just be in general more active on my stories. I wanna at least post once a day, if not once a day, like every other day. Um, I wanna post weekly on Instagram, post one to two carousels a month, you know, the ones where like there's multiple pictures and then post one reel a month. I feel like I don't post a lot of reels, but I know it's like important for Instagram to post reels. So anyways, all those things, basically just being more active on Instagram because I feel like I'm always on Instagram, but I'm not very active on it. Like myself posting. And then I wanted to hit 3K followers on Instagram. Right now we are at 2K. So 1K, that's ambitious, but you know, we'll try. <laughs> Okay, well that is everything that, those are all my 2024 goals. So every month we will be doing a reset and reflect for the year and we will talk about our goals and we'll, um, you know, I'll reflect on the previous month and I will reset for the new month and we will try to reach all these goals together. Let me know some of the goals that you have. Um, sorry, I keep looking at the cat. <laughs> Um, let me know some of the goals that you have for this year. Let me know things that you're proud of that you accomplished last year. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, I always appreciate all the comments, all the views, everything that you guys are able to give me <laughs> every year. Um, thank you guys truly, truly from the bottom of my heart. I really hope that you guys have a very healthy, healthy and happy. Oh my gosh, why can't I say that? Healthy and happy new year. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.